YouTube spawns many celebrities. Songs, people, fads. They can become a hit in a short amount of time, and it can happen anywhere, from the University of Georgia football team's Harlem Shake just a few months ago, and that fad was short-lived, to the recently tornado-stricken areas of Oklahoma. And one young man from the state of Oklahoma is working his own groove on YouTube by combining two of his favorite things, music and video games. Growing up, you know, I heard a lot of music. They are garage. His name is Max Gleason, or as he goes by on YouTube, Smooth McGroove. He's a video game enthusiast, a musician, and a rising video game a cappella internet sensation. So, what's attracting him so much attention? Well, something that really hasn't been done much as of yet. He takes a song like, say, the moon theme, that's from the Nintendo Entertainment System game DuckTales. Then he breaks down each part of the song and turns it into this. Now, despite his vocal prowess, he was primarily a drummer, actually, and until a few weeks ago, taught drums and guitar. Singing is not something I ever thought I would ever do, you know, in any aspect. I thought it was fun. I, I enjoyed it. I know it's, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of realizing that it's the most flexible instrument because you can do anything with it as long as you're confident and uh, have at least a, a good ear. He originally put these videos up for some friends and family, and maybe some video gamers who would just stumble upon his songs. But he got his big break when the official Legend of Zelda Facebook page posted a link to his version of the Legend of Zelda Song of Storms. His email inbox was soon swamped with notifications that people had commented on his video. I mean, he hadn't gotten notifications in so long, all of a sudden he's getting about 20 of them. But then his brother told him what happened. Dude, The Legend of Zelda linked your, your video, your Song of Storms. I'm like, oh my gosh. After that, other companies began to recognize him and share his work on their Facebook pages. Square Enix, this is the company responsible for the Final Fantasy and Chrono series, actually posted how incredible they thought his version of one of their songs was. Smooth McGroove takes an old song, takes a horn part, a couple string parts, a couple percussion parts, and a lead track. Track. He finds the tempo and sets a metronome to it, then he does a rough version of each track, then continuously refines them until they're just the way he wants it. During some of his videos, his cat Charl pops into the camera and begins to get his own McGroove on. Charl, what do you think of your newfound fame? He absolutely doesn't care about it. In fact, he's, he's probably like, put me down. <laughs> Charl has made his way onto the t-shirts that are now available to order online. Hmm, I can't decide which shirt I like better. The money he's made from t-shirts and iTunes has allowed him to quit that old music teaching job and devote 30 to 40 hours a week on these videos full time. He gets a plethora of requests to do acapella versions of different video game music, which he welcomes. One fan on his YouTube channel decided to condense all requests that he's gotten and just asked him to acapella every song ever. And of course, Smooth McGroove replied, Dude, that's a lot of songs though. So what does he have planned? A lot. Including one song that is beloved by many video gamers, that song being One Winged Angel from Final Fantasy VII. That may take a while to accomplish, simply due to how much is in the song. I would love to do that song. That is an extremely long and a complex arrangement. So doing that in one week is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna have to set that week aside to be a special week. But um, I look forward to doing that because um, it'll test my limits again. Test his limits. Well, as a fellow video gamer, I hope you pass that test. Because I do love that song, and I wonder how it would sound in the styles of Smooth McGroove. Now, Smooth McGroove has been contacted by Capcom, which is responsible for game series like Resident Evil and Street Fighter, and by composer Austin Wintory. Now, this guy composed the soundtrack to the 2012 PlayStation 3 game Journey. That soundtrack was the first video game soundtrack ever nominated for a Grammy, and as someone who has played through that game, the experience is incredible, as is the music.